Hello community, it's been a while since my last video, but it's time to get back to them. So in this one, I'll try to keep it short, I'd like to address the um, search engine optimization and just the initial steps that you might want to undertake once, once you've installed UNA-based website. I got some questions about it just a few days ago, and it, it's kind of one of the typical patterns where people assume that uh, there's some kind of technical uh, you know, magic or structure that UNA has to have for them to uh, be effective in, social, in uh, search engines. But actually, uh, UNA is just, yet again, is just a tool. And uh, largely, it has all of the uh, bits and pieces that are necessary for good search engine optimization. But you do have to do some configuration work to make sure uh, you're ranking well for the words that um, that you want to rank for. So let's uh, have a look at this site. So this is just um, our empty installation, or um, yours might look something like this once you've installed. So when once you um, once you have just a clear site and you will put in the name of the site, uh, first thing you'd notice is that uh, the homepage uh, title, the actual title for the page, uh, looks something like this. So we'll use your username and just say homepage. Oh, uh, sorry, not the username, but the site name and the homepage. Or uh, see how it's in this case says the UNA test, homepage. Blah, blah, blah. But um, look at this example on uh, this site, because it's already uh, an active site, which has been configured for uh, search engine optimization. It looks like this, Luna.io community management system. And uh, the reason why it says this is because we want to rank for this phrase, community management system. That's uh, one of the um, keywords or key phrases that we are targeting. And if we look at community management system in, YouTube, uh, in uh, Google uh, and go past all of the ads, <laughs> then you'd uh, uh, see us, the um, una.io going first, and not just first, but look at this. It has this like whole special kind of banner and card and it's not paid for any or anything it's just it is recognized as an authority for this community management system phrase it's not any kind of magic we're not doing any kind any you know black hat search engine optimization uh, techniques or anything like that it really is just quite simple first it's all based on content google is not stupid anymore you can't really just you know, put in some funny meta keywords or uh, exchange links with shady sites with those keywords and suddenly come up, come up on top. In fact, you would probably damage your reputation doing any of that. So first of all, is definitely the content. If you have public indexable content on your site and uh, it's original and it comes up there regularly, so it's published uh, all the time uh, and it's new and fresh, it will just pick it up. Then you definitely want your site to be fast. That's that's a metric that matters as well. It, it You want it to be legible as in it can, the structure and the um, text that is used in there should be of the right size, of the right contrast. And it, it surprisingly, it looks into that as well. Or even things like uh, on the mobile, it will look on whether the links are too close to each other and whether the top targets are uh, properly optimized for mobile. And that we do look for. So in Una, you have it properly set up out of the box. You can easily make me <laughs> mess it up in, in your style settings, but uh, normally it's all fine. So what do you need to do? So first thing first, uh, recognize some of your key phrases. So let's say like we have the community management system, whatever you have, you can say, like say, uh, I don't know, savory buns, right? And uh, maybe write them down five, six, seven, ten words 
whatever uh, you believe uh, you want to target initially. You would want to go for the long tail phrases, like something that you can think of, but they are relevant. But that's usually uh, happening organically. You know, people posting about something, they use long phrases, and then it comes up in, in, in search. So what do we do first? Um, you go to your installation and you go to studio. Turn to a look at this. And um, initially, uh, look at your home page. It's in Pages Builder. You select the home page and look at its settings. So, see in settings, uh, the system name is just what appears in the studio system. So, it doesn't really matter that much. But see here, you have the title. So the site title here is the variable. It's if you want um, the site name, like see Unayo here or Una test here, uh, to repeat in all of the titles, you can use this variable, or you can just overwrite the whole text, or you can add some of the text, like savory buns. Right? Uh, if you have multiple language installed, then you'll click here and uh, you change your same phrase for the other language as well. So let's get back to the savory buns. And that's the biggest thing. Suddenly you will have the title of your home page as savory buns. And uh, essentially you are signaling to Google that that's, this, what, that's what the site is all about. Right. So, and you can override this, like I said. There is this SEO section where you can put the meta description saying that, hey, savory buns uh, that we sell here are awesome. What happens with meta description? It is not really a good um, or particularly strong SEO signal. So because it's so easily abused, uh, Google is not really using it as a in, in their ranking. and. Uh, but um, it is somewhat useful in situations, for example, when uh, you include a phrase there, like savory buns in a sense, and, but it's not included in the text and Google needs to pull up, I mean, on the text on the page itself, but only in the meta description. And Google needs to pull up some kind of description in search engine results, then it will uh, use it here. As, as part of the description. So you kind of can address your visitors there somehow. But don't expect that, you know, if you put in a whole lot of uh, phrases here, uh, then it would help with search engine positioning for those phrases. It won't. In fact, try to keep this conversational, natural, because Google is uh, Google's neural engine that recognizes the natural pattern in in, in language and text is really, really good. And if you're using any kind of auto-generated or trick language, uh, or just repeating the keywords, it will pick it up and will pick it up as a Red Hat SEO signal so you can get that. And uh, keywords, very outdated sort of SEO tool as well. So it's uh, coming from the 90s. We still include this, so you can still put in your savory buns, this and that. Uh, but not a signal anymore. It can be used. Oh, you can put like, let's say, British English variation of it. If need be. Again, it's it's more useful for the old school stupid search engines because oh, they wouldn't know what it is all about. Google does know, right? And again, it's easily abused material, uh, easily abused tool, and it's known to not really matter much in. Uh, search engine optimization, all right? And uh, uh, the commands for meta robots, you can ignore that if it's just a public site. It's usually used for particular pages. If you don't want uh, Google to index them or you don't want Google to follow links or give any kind of weight to the links used on that, on that particular page. Anyway, so we, uh, we are adding some keywords and some descriptions and most importantly we put in the title okay we make sure that this page is 
visible particularly it's either for everyone but if it's selected members you make sure it's uh, visible for unauthenticated members because google uh, will be using the robot and it's an unauthenticated member it doesn't have its own username and password it cannot log in all right so we apply that and what happens is if we look at the page see it has save rebounds here so now there is a good chance that that will tell Google that that's about savory buns, but it's not enough still. Uh, first of all, as you can see, we are logged in and that's a home page, uh, but it does not have any um, text here, right off the bat, which mentions savory buns, or especially important, create some kind of conversational paragraph that uh, will look like a, an actual meaningful uh, context for discussing savory bonds, right? So how do we do that? You can potentially, if this is a public page, if Google could read this timeline, and if you had your um, public timeline used on the home page for unauthenticated users, then it could rely on messages or on posts posted by the community. But if this is only just for the authenticated members, then you have to look at what um, it would see if it was not authenticated. So we just um, get out of our log out of our account and look at this. Okay, so here's what we've got. This connect, share, create, blah, 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 and some text here. So you would want to tailor this text for this keyword now, because, okay, you have savory buns, you have um, a bit of text here, so again, you need to signal to Google or to whatever search engine is going to be indexing it that this is the page about on this topic. And you go back to your account again if you are the um, site operator and go to the studio. Log into pages, um, go to pages builder, look at your home page. So in this case, this one is configured with the hero. So this is the block that unauthenticated users see. Um, so they, you know, on this, in this instance, the site is not using the splash page. So we want to edit contents of this hero block. So that's basically the block with texts and images um, that people see when they when they come to the site and they're not logged in. So again, it, it, we're using language block here, so it can be translated into multiple languages. So it, there's one version in English, you can have another version in another language. And then there's this content. So this content can be edited directly here, right? And again, you can go savory, savory, buns, galore. Or you can go British English if you have to, whatever. Right? And you can change this text. Just change whatever you feel needs to, um, to be part of the copy of that page and is relevant to um, in this context. So uh, we have three other blocks at the bottom. This are these features blocks. Same idea, you can just edit them and change this text to kind of be closer in context to that phrase. All right, uh, so I'll be doing that. So let's try to log out, see what happened. Okay, so see, we have this. This is the H1, header number one. Again, it's a strong signal saying to Google, hey, this is the big text I'm showing to people. So I really mean it that this is what the site is about. So use this as a signal and, and, and it will. Yeah, importantly, you also, because people then know that's what, that's the kind of language you're using. That's what you want to be talking about on this site. There will be more content uh, 
happening, more content published on the site pertaining to this particular um, interest or theme. Right. So this is pretty basic, right? So you could text this text and uh, change this text, change this page. In the same manner, then maybe you have some other words, something like, um, I don't know, uh, yummy muffins, right? Um, what you can add some of them to the home page, but you would probably want to have some more high impact pages on your site that are potentially using slightly different variations of the word. What you do is again in in a very similar um, fashion, you just take something like say, what do we have? Features page. Yeah, see, it just says features, so it's already changed. Um, maybe we could use something a bit smarter here than just features, right? And we say, hey, we want this to be uh, about building a community. So we kind of will use a phrase kind of like this. So we see that's page slash features. We go to a studio. Thank you very much. Um, go to pages. Features in this case is a custom page. There you go. That's the content. Let's change settings in there. So it just says Una features. So maybe we'll uh, Una features. The best way to the, also the best. Um, Community building platform. Because that's what it is. Um, it it does help if you structure these phrases phrases in um, again in in a natural conversational way, not just putting in keywords because. Um, like I said, Google is using AI more and more, and um, you can tell whether that's the natural title, natural way of phrasing things, or somebody went ahead and tried to trick it into. So it doesn't like to be tricked, not like any of us. Oh, here's, here's me making mistakes. So this should be going into the title, not into the system name. All right. So we'll apply that and have a look. All right. Where are we? Page features. So now we have um, Uno, the best community building platform features. And sort of matching text in the in the copy and links to resources that would also be matching and uh, we would expect external resources or other people referencing this page in the same sort of fashion so again using very similar wording and that way this will push this page higher up uh, in uh, Google for, for uh, all sorts of phrases which would be similar to best way of building a community, best commu best platform for building a community. doesn't have to be an exact match again. Uh, phrasing. Now, um, it used to be really uh, an exact match game. So if, if you're really close and, you know, people try to create landing pages for all sorts of variations of each specific phrase, like online dating software, dating software, free dating software, free dating software for online website, blah, blah, blah. But you don't have to do that anymore. Just just say it the way it is, use great copy, do the job, Google will pick it up. And in fact, you are have better chances uh, ranking higher if you're using just the most organic phrases. Plus, uh, whenever someone is searching and it is using, and then Google is showing that particular, uh, particular phrase in, in, in search results, if it's, fra if it's uh, formed in conversational way, it just grabs someone's attention a bit more. Like say, 
let's let's take some other example. Let's take um, like uh, CMS. See, something like this, our missionary CMS Australia. So this is kind of not really grabbing attention because it's it's vague. What, what what can it be? I don't know. But then if it's something a little more particular and phrased as if you're talking about it, say our oh, CMS requirements checklist or best CMS of 2019, then it it works, you know, the people are much more likely to click on that. So it's not just search engine optimization, that's also optimization for human attention. Okay, so these are the basics. A few more tricks then. So another part of it, uh, except apart from just, you know, creating texts and titles, which is really, really important. Another part is um, showing Google which pages of which particular key phrases or combinations of words are most important. And you do that most of the time by uh, creating this inbound internal links on the site, which tend to bring you back, bring uh, everyone back to those hubs, those main pages here and there. If, uh, if they are actually important pages, people would probably most likely, you know, just link to them from their posts anyway but you can also steer people towards using some particular ones and um, the old-fashioned uh, search engine optimization trick for that would be to include a whole lot of uh, keywords into the footer again that's uh, that's trickery and um, in 2019 now, and probably will be for the next million years, uh, trying to trick a system that is just as advanced as Google search engine is, is not a good idea. It can quickly tell that, look, that's automated linking, it's linking from all footers, blah, 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 and it's just deliberately made up landing page. And uh, that will not assign uh, the same importance there to it as, as, as it would if it could feel that it's the natural way of linking back to it. So the way I would recommend doing this is uh, through hashtags. It's a um, modern trend for the last few years, um, assigning relation to some context by, by way of uh, putting a hashtag in your post. So. Say, if, if you're writing something and, and say, well, this is a post about buns and uh, buns. And you hashtag something like savory buns, right? So, and you make a post. So what happens here is we, we've got this savory ban buns hashtag. And any other posts, any other uh, updates, uh, articles, albums, whatever that's posted with this hashtag, they would be linked um, together and uh, the, the search result will pull up all of that content into one page. In that sense, they will be interlinked between each other and there will be this like hub page for this particular phrase. Now, notice that with hashtags, you can't use spaces, which is not so good for some phrases, as you may guess. So to, um, as a way of working around that, we have labels. So labels are pre-assigned uh, hashtags in, in the system, which you can put in, and uh, then people can basically use particular hash, uh, hashtags or labels uh, all across the system, and they can then have um, spaces in that phrase. So let's have a look how that works. We go to Studio again. And uh, from version 10, spaces, uh, oh, this is the labels. They are a system feature, so you find them in forms. 
is this labels section and see how we've added three labels on una.io website unax dolphin una platform una community so these are just some of the high impact phrases which we want everyone to use and we want sometimes to uh, recommend people to uh, label their posts that way plus uh, if we have channels installed then they can actually be pulled into the channel everything that's labeled with, with any of these labels is pulled in the channel people can follow the channel and and they can kind of familiarize themselves with that these are the main um, directions for the site and gradually you build up high authority for this particular phrase so always good idea to start maybe with just a few of them the the the, the biggest uh most important key phrases in your industry that you want to use around the site and then on other pages like say in your discussions posting or posts or whatever when uh, you look at the displays where people create a new discussion you look at what fields are being used and make sure that um, you're using labels right you can add new fields you can activate deactivate and so in this case we're using labels and um, what that means is when people are posting a discussion for example it's a discussion posting form c it offers me to choose some labels so if i post something and i can choose Boonix dolphin or una platform or combination of them then uh, it will assign that uh, label to it see like this post posted to una platform this post to una platform etc etc so all of that is pulled up into this context of that's what the post is about una platform or it could be about savory buns or uh, whatever else we have the um, yummy muffins Actually, I had a fasting day yesterday and um, keep talking about food. So, excuse me. I have eaten since, but it still is in the head. Anyway, so these particular phrases are important. And like I said, this allows you to create a space because obviously, when people create in hashtag, they're using hash symbol and then they, write, they have to write the whole phrase. Otherwise, it won't render a high hashtag. Plus, some people will have their own ideas on, on variations of words, so the hashtags may not really match. But this allows you to kind of suggest um, what sort of phrases you want everyone to use. And uh, if you've done it well enough, then uh, you get the good results on this particular phrase. So if you say, hey, on a platform, bang we are number one at it and in fact we own all of this Th this is like this is of course quite easy for us because una is more of a brand name but um if it's not like if we just search for una there is still quite a competition around this because there are movies there, there are clothing brands there's blah 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 there's united nations uh, association of some kind and so we still have to fight for our una key phrases anyway oh and look at that this is this has to be one of the nastiest uh, competition tricks i really hate that when uh, people are bidding on your brand name and then showing their ads when somebody is specifically searching for your brand name it's kind of like making a a sign that you're selling pizzas and then putting it in front of um, your competitor's pizza shop even if it's allowed even if you've paid for it I think it's just low life tactic isn't it who does that so anyway use these key phrases uh, make sure your pages are or optimized for those for, for the phrases that you're targeting by way of creating a title and putting those phrases in the text of the page create a few of those page make sure you're linking to them frequently um, suggest 
key keywords in uh, through labels. Um, what else? Make sure your site is fast. Say so, um, we'll have another conversation on that. Out of the boxes, Una is very fast, but it can be slowed down by all sorts of uh, third-party plugins, libraries, um, custom fonts. Be careful with those. Um, do use content delivery network if you can to speed things up do turn on caches but okay anyway we'll 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 have um separate discussion on that and we are making sure to use uh, to make una faster and faster with every update so visible copy indexable public pages uh go through all of your important pages titles maybe meta descriptions and uh, use labels that um, that are relevant to your theme, and you should be fine. Very quickly, uh, Google will start picking up the structure of your site. It's actually already we've seen that it's quite good at telling the schema of Una-based websites. So you can tell how that's a blog for the post module. You can tell that that's a forum for discussions module, and um, that can, can tell that this is the profiles for social profiles and organizations and people modules so and then show show the page in the search results with 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 all of the relevant um meta links so it will show that's in this category or um it will put the, show the search the side search um form in 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 the search result as well so the schema is fine. We don't believe that there's any need worrying about submitting a sitemap to Google. It also used to be a big thing for large, uh, sophisticated sites when Google wasn't so good at telling the structure of the site and which pages are important, which are more, more important, which are less important and all of that. I mean, if you want to, you can do that. You can create a sitemap and um, sort of uh, tell tell Google, okay, look, don't look much into profiles, for example, because we, let's say we're not using timeline on profiles and there is not much relevant information on profile pages, only look on, look at discussions, they're more important. You can give that sort of idea to Google. Uh, but largely, if uh, there isn't organic linking going to those profiles anyway, and no updates with relevant content showing on, on profile pages, Google will automatically figure out that that's a lower importance pages anyway. So these are all the technical, or I'd say it's, it really is 99% of the initial search engine optimization steps that you want to perform to rank well. Um, and apart from that, just encourage regular posts regular content generation. Uh, make sure you observe what's happening and you clean out any spam, any rubbish. Um, comments are important because if there's a good, meaningful conversation and comments in, in, in posts, it's also signaling to Google that this post is engaging, it's real, it's generating discussion and it will Typically, you know, equal posts and one with comments and the other one without, the one with comments will rank, rank higher, especially if they keep coming, keep coming. So definitely encourage commenting. If somebody is posting some sort of reaction comment, talk to people on your site. Reply, ask questions, stick to the um, original subject of the discussion, and eventually it will develop into much more than you even have posted regionally and it would be a great source of information and it will rank very high in, in search engines. All right, that's it. Hope this helps and see you next time.